Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our showy helmet sizing and buying guide at Revzilla.com. So in this helmet, we're gonna walk through the staples in the Shoei line. Keep in mind, Shoei is a very broad line of helmets, a premium line of helmets from Japan. I'm gonna start with a little history, I'm gonna walk into sizing, and from there I'm gonna walk through the key helmets in this line that each have their own detailed breakdown at revzilla.com slash but we'll walk through why you might choose or invest in a premium helmet from the Shoei line. Now, starting off with fit, I'm gonna bring Brett on and give you a quick overview on how you would take your fit, typically using a friend, pop on here really quickly. It's very easy, a lot of people look at buying a helmet online, they get intimidated, not so. So turn and face away from me, we're gonna measure Brett up. Typically use a, a piece of string or a soft tape measure, I'm gonna turn Brett backwards. And what I wanna do is I wanna come around the widest part of Brett's head, so right above the eyebrows, across the back, you wanna measure and bring it together on the side so you can make sure that you're lined up horizontally. And Brett's gonna come in right at the 24 inch mark. It's really that simple, thanks Brett. So what you're going to see is we're gonna take that 24 inch measurement, we're gonna bring it down to the size chart on any showy helmet page, and Brett's gonna be an extra large. It's really that simple. And what we typically say with a showy helmet, because there is a bit of forgiveness, if you're right on the cusp of helmets, you could typically go to the size lower because they'll break in about 10%. Now, keeping that in mind, and remember, you have to think about your head shape as well. I'm typically an intermediate oval. Most helmets in the showy line will be an interme intermediate oval except for the Quest that's going to be a bit more neutral. And if you're still concerned, remember we ship for free and exchange for free, no restock fees if you need to send it back to us. Now, keeping that in mind, again, walking into this premium line, you see six helmets on the table in front of me. I'm going to walk right to left on my side. I have the Quest, I have the Neotech, the GT Air, the Shoei RF1100, the J Cruise, and then the X12. Starting at what I consider to be the gateway drug into the Shoei line is gonna be the just over $300 Shoei Quest. The Shoei Quest is going to be the more neutral shape in the Shoei lineup. It's a tri-composite shield, has a lot of the features you're going to see as a foundational feature set into all of the rest of the helmets, but really think about the Quest in an upright three-quarter or sometimes a tuck position. It should work really well for a lot of different riders, but again, it's designed to be well-rounded, be comfortable, and to be a little bit less specific in its application. And remember, all of the Shoei line too is going to be Snell and DOT rated. From the Quest, we move into the Neotech. The Neotech is one of the top selling modular helmets at Revzilla.com. And when I say modular, it's going to be a flip up face. A lot of guys that are more touring, multi-season riders, longer different distance riders like to have this functionality. But the nice part about the Neotech, and you can see as I spin it around, this is the Borealis graphic. It comes in solids as well. It's a bit more of an investment, but there's also an integrated sun visor. You can see it drop down on the inside of this helmet. And the ventilation scheme has been dramatically increased since they released this helmet in 2012 over the predecessor, which was the Multitech. To its left, is going to be the GT Air, and this is one of the newcomers for 2013. The GT Air is really a hybrid. It's a mix of sport touring as well as sport. It takes a lot of the DNA from the RF1100 that we're gonna to get to next. So you can see a very aggressive shape, great for upright, but really will perform well in a three-quarter or tuck position. But the nice part with the GT Air is that you're not going to have to carry a second face shield. You now have an integrated sun visor system. It adds a little bit of weight, but it's not dramatic. And it's for guys that like to, I think this is a great commuter helmet for somebody that might be on a sport or sport touring bike. And again, this is the solid red graphic, but there are multiple other graphics available. Solid red color, rather. The next helmet, in my opinion, is the most important helmet in the Shoei line. This is the Shoei RF1100. We call it Golding, Goldilocks because it's just just right. It's just right for so many riders. It's not going to be at the top of the pay scale from Shoei, but it uses a lot of the premium features. And notice it's sport design. It's going to perform in all of the different riding positions, but just like the GT Air, it's really optimized for three-quarter tuck. It's going to give you great performance when you're in a spirited riding scenario. Now again, no integrated face shield. It's going to, you're going to be able to swap out your shields on it, upgraded ventilation over what we saw on the RF1000, which was its predecessor. But again, around that $400 mark to start out with, it's a helmet that typically is a helmet that someone who is coming off a one or $200 helmet that realizes there's a next level of protection, a next level of comfort out there for their sport riding needs would move into the RF1100. It's a helmet that I've worn a ton over the years and I actually wore its predecessor, the RF1000 as well. Now, moving to the left of that is going to be the premium open face from Shoei, new for 2013. This is called the J Cruise. Shares some of the same features that we've seen in the mix here, but it does have an upgraded ventilation scheme that it is stolen off the Neotech, and then it also has the integrated sun visor. So again, if you're looking at some of the other premium open faces or three quarters on the market, the Shoei J Cruise is going to have a solid feature set for those of you that don't want a full shin bar. 
The last helmet on the table here today is going to be the X12, and the X12 is Shoei's race helmet. Currently, we're seeing it on Marc Marquez, Alvaro Batista. Again, using an integrated spoiler design. You can see it when I bring it over onto the profile here. Emergency cheek crowd removal system, and it's a bit more of a race fit. It's still going to fit within that intermediate oval head shape and design, but now it's a little bit more encompassing around the face, and it's designed to be in the tuck. That spoiler really is happiest, creating downforce when the chin is on the tank, and that's going to be the X12 which is really a level up in specificity and application from Shoei. So keep in mind as well that many of the Shoei helmets will be snail rated, but the ones that have drop down sun visors are only going to be DOT. And like I said, we have a detailed breakdown video on all the helmets on the table. And if you want to walk through fit, nuance, or application, shoot our Gear Geeks line, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. I already told you that shipping and exchange is very painless, and you can find the full run of Shoei helmets at RevZilla.com slash Shoei. Thanks for tuning in to our Shoei sizing and buying guide at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.